everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Laura. This is Anxiety Art Adventures. And I figured I would just go ahead and do a whip and chat while um, I had a chance to sit here and actually work on um, my diamond painting. And I haven't really worked on it for a while. I hadn't really been in the mood. Um, for those of you that are new or didn't know, uh, we lost our cat, Jabba, recently. Um, unexpectedly and um, it's been it's been really hard but um, each day I get a little bit better um, I, I'll always you know I'll always have a special place in my heart for her um, but yeah so I'm just gonna give you all a, basically a little life update uh, but first of all I want to show you um, this is uh, Mandy Manzano worlds away from Diamond Art Club this is what I'm working on for um, our DPathon collab that we're I'm doing with Shalene from the Coloring Book Nook and Lisa Bradley, and we love anybody who wants to join in. Feel free. Um, we're doing this until July the first, and I think <laughs> I think Lisa has done like two of them already. I know Shalene's already finished one. I'm still working on this one. It's pretty good size. This one is a 73 by 55 centimeter, um, so. And I'm really slow with diamond painting. Um, in my opinion, diamond painting is supposed to be relaxing, uh, something that you enjoy to do. It's not a race, so um, yeah. Uh, so I hope to have this finished by July 1st. I think so. I only have uh, six more pieces of parchment paper to do. And right now, I've got it turned upside down so I can work on the on the top part. So anyway, these are my awesome um, turtle cover reminders from Happy Hippo Finds. I absolutely love sea turtles and. Um, Elizabeth was so nice to make this custom one for me, the orange and aqua one. Love it. Um, so now I have a little collection of them. Um, but I will have that link down below for you to check out Happy Hippo Finds, one of my favorite places to get cover minders from. And then the tray I'm using, uh, the cute, awesome kitty tray, is from My3D Designs. Um, the owner's name is Dan, and um, I'll have that link down below as well for you to check out. And this one actually came with um, a stopper. I just don't have it on right now. Um, and an update to the Archer's Arts tray. So in my last video, I let everybody know that I love the trays that I got from Archer's Arts. There were two aqua trays and a purple tray. And the grooves on the tray were, they just were too thick. So the... Um, drills were sticking in the grooves and wouldn't line up and um, I, you know I, I did everything I could do to try and fix it and it just wasn't working so um, I had a few subscribers uh, tell me that they Archer's Arts had had a um, software update to their printer and apparently that messed up the thickness of the grooves so I contacted Jen over at Archer's Arts and she was so nice and said, you know, she was happy to give me um, a refund or a replacement and I don't want a refund. I just, I love the trays. I just want a tray that I can use. So I'm getting some replacement trays from Jen and I know that they've had a death in their family and I'm so sorry uh, for your loss, Jen. Um, my heart and prayers go out to you and your husband. Um, so obviously that should be the last thing on Jen's mind right now. Um, and just so everybody knows, their shop is closed until further notice um, due to the death in the family. So um, let's all respect that and, you know, let her and her husband grieve. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, so yeah, what's been going on with me and Adam? Okay, so... As I told you in the last video, uh, we decided that, let me reframe that. I decided that I really need to have a cat in this house. I've always had cats. I've grown up with cats. Um, uh, I'm more of a cat person than a dog person. Um, I do have the best dog in the world. As you see, this is so hard to do. Opposite, as you see over here, all he does is sleep. But, I mean, he's 13. Um, and he follows me everywhere. He's great. I, I love Blue to death and Bella. Um, Bella's pretty much, she's completely blind. So she 
likes to stay in her crate. Her crate stays open and she just knows to go in there and that's where she stays because she feels comfortable. Um, she'll come out and play every now and again, but nine times out of 10, she just wants to be in there where she knows, you know, it's safe and comfortable. So anyway, so our household is very, very quiet right now and it's too quiet for me. And I just, I told Adam, I just, I need, <sighs> sorry, I'm trying not to get upset. Um, I just, I need another cat, um, you know, and, and I feel guilty about that. Um, but I know, I know Java would want me to be happy and not, you know, be miserable and sad all the time. And, um, and I know she's in a better place. So, um, yeah. So anyway, so we, we talked about it and we decided we were going to get another cat. And then we talked to my mom and I'm very close to my mom. She lives two streets down from me. Um, I know you're noticing I'm placing these one at a time. This has been um, more therapeutic for me to do these one at a time than to use the multi-placer. Um, I'm sorry. I'm scatterbrained. Um, so we talked to my mom, and she actually said, I think the best thing for you to do is not just get one cat, but to get two. And she said, you know, a couple of reasons for that. One, um, your dogs are older, and they are. They're 13, so rat terriers tend to live anywhere, you know, from 15 to, you know, 18 or 19. It just depends on on the breed. Um, but obviously, they're not going to be around forever. So she said it would be really unfair for one cat to get really attached to uh, the dogs and then, you know, they're gone in a couple years. And, you know, I hadn't really thought about that. Um, so this way, if we get two cats, um, it would have, you know, they would have each other to play with. So, all right. Now I'm going to get a, probably a lot of backlash about this. And honestly, um, this was my decision after everything that I went through, um, so I really would appreciate if people are respectful of this decision. So I contacted not one, not two, not three, but four rescue organizations here um, in the area where we live. And all four of them said that they do not have any kittens. There is a, and, and Adam and I want to get kittens. We don't want to get full grown cats. Um, it's going to be really hard to find full grown cats as a pair, uh, that get along. Um, I, I found a couple, but they were, they were much older. They were like 10 and I just, I, I, I can't go through that loss again that, that fast. Um, so anyway, I contacted all these rescue, I've done all this research and, um, none of the rescue organizations had any kittens and if they did they were sold like i mean rescued like immediately and all of them have this waiting list um i think the earliest waiting list that we could get on would be someone would contact us in august um which you know this is me being a little bit selfish but i i don't want to wait till august to get another cat i i need some joy in this house and um, yeah. So anyway, um, I've always wanted Siamese cats and I just, I've never, I've never done it because I've always rescued cats my whole life. I've always just gone up to a shelter and gotten a cat. And if, if COVID was not an issue right now, I think it would be much easier for Adam and I to get, uh, two kittens, but with everything that's going on and all of the, I mean, all the shelters are shut down and you have to do um, everything by appointment only. And they do this complete screening. And, and I totally understand that, like a health screening of you. Um, and I, I get it. And I don't have a problem with that. The problem I have is that, you know, a waiting list that long, I was just, I was amazed that the waiting list was for that long. And I guess it's because, um, so many people are at home right now and they want an animal and they want, they want, you know, kittens. So, uh, 
all the shelters that I contacted here do not have any kittens. And we're in prime kitten season right now. I mean, May, June, July is like prime kitten season. Um, so I didn't think it was going to be hard to find a couple of, of kittens to rescue. But let me tell you what, Shug. <laughs> let me tell you what. Um, yeah. And it, it's just been, it's been very frustrating very frustrating and the people at the rescue organizations were very nice and um, I'm I'm not an affiliate with one of them but my family does a lot of uh, donates a lot of um, they donate a lot with one of the organizations and even that organization was like you know we've got this huge waiting list and you know you probably won't get anything until you know anywhere between October and December so, okay, long story short, that's enough of that. Um, so I've always wanted Siamese. So I did some research on the breed itself and, you know, what to expect. And I've had family that have had Siamese. I've con I contacted them and talked to them about it. So ultimately, Adam and I, um, we found a breeder uh, in Georgia. I'm not going to name the breeder, but uh, we found a breeder in Georgia that we had very lengthy conversations with. We did uh, video chats with them um, last week and this week. And just, I did a lot of, of research and investigation um, on this breeder and on the actual, you know, Siamese breed itself. And I, I really think that Adam and I made a good decision, and we are adopting two uh, female Siamese, lilac point Siamese, uh, from the same litter. And I will actually show you a picture. Uh, but they are uh, 12 weeks old right now, and they were spayed and neutered uh, actually yesterday. I'm sorry, spayed, because they're female. Um, they were spayed yesterday and the breeder, um, as a rule, and they're, they're wonderful people. Um, he and his wife, um, they keep the cat for 10 days after it's been spayed or neutered to make sure that it's healthy. Um, so anyway, so we are getting two female kittens by the time we get them. I think, I think they'll be like 15 weeks old, 15, 16 weeks old. Uh, we're going to get them in the middle of June. Uh, they're going to be flown here and we're going to get them at the airport. Um, but anyway, so I want you to meet Zoe and Skylar. Uh, we're not set on the names yet, but um, these are our two new kittens. That we will get the middle of June. Um, and I know a lot of people are going to, like I said, throw shade at me for uh, the whole breeder thing, but I, like I said, if I see that down in the comments below, I'm going to delete it and block you because I tried. I tried to rescue. It didn't work out. Um, it's just not in the cards right now for us and for my anxiety and my depression. Um, I, I need something in this house that, like I said, will bring me, you know, happiness and joy. And yes, I have my dogs, but like I said, they're older. They don't play. Um, it's just, this is what is best for me. And I'm, Adam said, this is like the first time he's seen me smile in, you know, two weeks. So, um, yeah. So that, that is what is happening. There has been so much going on in the last week with us, with that. Um, we were in daily contact with, um, with the breeder to get updates and, you know, we get to watch them on a live camera. We get to watch them play before they had their surgery. Um, you know, we, it's just been, it's been an unreal experience I, because I've never done this before and I got a lot of help, um, you know, as far as, uh, what to look for and, you know, red flags and that kind of thing from my family and, um, 
everything seems to be perfect, which I don't want to say that because knock on wood, um, nothing is ever perfect, but, um, yeah. So anyway, that, that is what has been going on with us and we are super excited and, um, I think it's just going to be wonderful to have two kitties in the house. And like I said, the, they aren't baby babies. I mean, they're, if we get them at 16 weeks old, I mean, they'll be, um, you know, four months old. Um, so they're not going to be your teeny tiny. They're going to be, you know, they're going to just be into everything. So I have to completely go through our house and um, kitty proof everything, which is going to be such a chore because we have, um, we have a pretty big house and I've never had to worry about that, you know, like cords and um, basically like family heirlooms sitting on tables and you know, things that you don't want to get knocked off. Um, cause I mean, they told us, the breeder told us, you know, they, they are very inquisitive. They are one of the most intelligent breeds. Um, and I think it's the second oldest breed. I think the first one is an Abyssinian or Abyssinian, however you pronounce that. Um, and then the Siamese, but they're, they're super smart. They're very playful. They're very vocal. Um, we've been, you know, listening to them and listening to videos of, of Siamese cats. Um, so it, it's just really, it's, it's really lifted my spirits and, um, I, it, this is the best decision for Adam and I and, yeah. So anyway, yeah. And I'm not stuck on those names. Those are just the names we've come up with right now. Um, I think they're, well, one of them is unique. I, I don't really hear Skylar a lot. And I mean, we've been looking at name websites. We were going to try and name them, um, you know, a Thai, Taiwanese name because that's where Siamese are from. But I, I just, I can't pronounce the... <laughs> I can't pronounce the names, so um, that would be a little difficult. Uh, but yeah, so we're super, super excited. We've got to buy a bunch of stuff, and um, like I said, get the house ready. And um, in the midst of all of this, uh, my best friend Sean, he's still not back at work yet. He uh, He's getting paid, but they haven't opened his office back up yet. So uh, he's been... You know, he's been really lonely. He's got a, a little, I think it's like a 800 square foot apartment just by himself that he's been there for like six months. And he's, he's lonely. So he wanted to get a cat. Um, so in the process of all of this going on, he actually rescued a cat from our local SPCA. Um, and he's, he's very cute. Very cute. His name is Lego. Um, he was a feral cat, but, um, Hopefully he'll warm up um, eventually. He's just very timid. Um, so yeah, so there's just so much been going on. So much been going on, um, you know. And uh, as far as our state here, our state is, some things are, are opening back up. Um, they did a, a first wave, I think a couple of weeks ago. Um, I think they're doing another one next week. Uh, so, yeah, I'm still really, I'm not as paranoid as I, as I was before. Like before, I didn't want anybody coming over to the house. I didn't want to leave the house. I didn't, I mean, I was really paranoid. Um, I, I just, that's just how I am with my anxiety. But now it's like, I'm okay. So like, I'm okay if like my mom comes over you know, or if Sean comes over, you know, family, whatever. Um, I'm okay if they come in and, you know, wash their hands real good. And, you know, I, I'm not hugging them or anything. We do the, you know, the, the elbow bump. <laughs> um, but I'm starting to lighten up a little bit about it. So, um, not to say that it's, it's going away. I mean, if anything, I think we're going to see another round of it, but... Yeah, 
Uh, but we're not going to talk about that because that's, that's bad. That's bad. So yeah, that's been, what's been going on with me. Um, I did, I was super excited today in the mail. Actually, I got um, my pre-orders from Diamond Art Club that I'd ordered, I think like back at the beginning of April. And they actually came in today. So I'm excited that um, I'm going to be able to show you those three. Um, one of them I'm super excited about. And I don't have a problem. I, I saw a post from Mrs. Coffee about how, you know, people are getting all upset about not getting their, their diamond paintings in a timely fashion. Well, you know what? I totally agree with her. I think people need to settle down and realize, you know, um, they're, they're more important things than, than getting diamond paintings right now. So um, if things take a while, I am perfectly fine with that because you know what? I have so much stuff here to do. It's, it's ridiculous. I, there's so many things I could do. Um, so many diamond paintings. And I know not everybody has, you know, a bunch of diamond paintings sitting around waiting to be done. But, you know, I'm sure there are, there are things that you can find to do, you know, between all the different crafts. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, yeah, and I do have, I mentioned this before, I do have um, some diamond paintings coming eventually from Amazello that I had ordered, um, I think the first week of April, but they lost my order and had to basically re reorder it. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that whenever it gets here. But yeah, other than that, I haven't really bought anything other than some color by number books. And um, I've really been enjoying those. Uh, they really help my anxiety and they've helped my depression uh, the last couple of weeks because, um, you know, it's just, it's very relaxing and your colors are already picked out. Yes, you have to pick a color out of your numerous markers or pencils, but um, overall the color is picked out for you and it's nice to just, sit down and color so I've, I've been listening to audiobooks and um, coloring in my color by number books so and like I said I haven't really been diamond painting much um, I go through phases like I go through phases with coloring where you know sometimes you just don't feel like it and that's that's kind of like where I'm at right now like I don't I don't really feel like diamond painting I mean I am because I need to get this one finished. And don't get me wrong, I love diamond painting. I do. It's it's awesome. Um, it's just sometimes you want to do something different and change things up a little bit, Shug. Change things up. So, and again, I want to thank Jeremy. I don't know if I did on the last video. I don't think I did. Um, Jeremy with um, uh, JTMJ Design and Crafts. Crap. I can't remember. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so scatterbrained. Anyway, y'all know Jeremy. Uh, he was so nice. He sent me a coloring book um, to cheer me up um, from from us losing Java, and it just it made me happy cry, um, Jeremy. So thank you again. I know I messaged you and, and we chatted, but um, I wasn't expecting it, and it was so sweet um, for you to do that. So thank you again. It means the world to me. Um, and I, I just can't thank everybody enough for all of their kind thoughts and prayers and just all the nice, just the awesome messages and comments that I've gotten. I mean, it helps me to go back and like reread them and just, you know, makes me smile. So thank you all very much. I really appreciate it. Um, I even had a wonderful subscriber, uh, light a candle for Java, um, the night she passed away so um, that meant a lot to me so yeah Jabba will never be forgotten she was um, a such a character I, I know you guys really didn't know her because she wasn't on camera very often but um, she was like a dog she would follow me around she would um, meow a lot um, from what I've understood, she she pretty much had a personality of a Siamese where she just very vocal, very wanted attention all the time, and 
she was she was my kitty so um yeah and like i said before and i'm not trying to harp but um the worst part for me is going to sleep i i haven't been sleeping at all um Java would sleep next to me every night and she was very, very loud purr. She would purr very loudly at night and it would actually, that was how I fell asleep was Java purring. She would sleep up next to my left shoulder and she would purr so loud that it would, you know, it was soothing for me and put me to sleep. Um, and I, I never really paid attention to any other sounds other than her, because she was always, you know, right there up at my shoulder. And, oh my gosh, you guys, now I hear everything. Like, I hear the air conditioner come on. I hear every teeny little creak in the house. Um, you know, I hear Adam, you know, his little noises he makes. I mean, things I'd never paid attention to before. And it's just, it's just so, it's eerie. It's eerie is, is the word, eerie. That's a good word. Um, so yeah, so I'm back to having issues sleeping again. I've been trying all kinds of things, the melatonin, the, the, um, sleepy time tea, um, uh, what's that stuff? The, the z it's, it's NyQuil, but it doesn't have the NyQuil in it. It's just basically a sleep aid. It doesn't have any like medicine in it or anything. Um, but nothing really seems to help. I just, I can't, I can't go to sleep. It's just... I don't know. Now, don't get me wrong. I know that when we have two crazy cats running through, kittens running through the house, I mean, neither one of us are going to get any sleep um, for probably the first couple of weeks at least. Um, it's it's going to be pretty insane. But I'm, I'm excited. Adam's excited. And I, I just, I think it's going to be really good for us to have you know, that kind of activity in the house and, you know, just pets just bring so much joy, um, to your life. They really do. And especially for us, we don't have any kids. So, um, pets are our children and, uh, I'm going to insert this here. Um, hashtag new skin babies. Um, so yeah, pets are our life and that's, that's how it's always been for me. I, I've never wanted any children. I've always just wanted to have animals and that's, that was my choice. And I don't regret that choice at all. Um, in fact, I think it's very responsible that if someone doesn't want to have children that they choose not to. Um, I think that's the right thing to do because I don't think that's fair to a child if you bring a child into the world when you don't want to bring them into the world. I think that's now, on the flip side of that, I mean, I was adopted, so I'm very grateful for the fact that, um, you know, my birth mother didn't choose the alternative, so um, I am a huge advocate of adoption, um, but I am not an advocate of someone, you know, raising a child that they don't want. Um, I think adoption should be um, the avenue for that person. But that's my personal opinion, so don't, no hate, no, no hate down there, okay? Thanks. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so we've got a lot going on. Um, I'm still getting all of our groceries delivered. It seems to me that the, uh, it's easier now to get groceries, like the next day uh, we can, we can actually get an order in the following day. Uh, we are having a hard time, as I'm sure a lot of people are, uh, getting meat. Um, I know there's some issues going on with COVID with the uh, meat plants. Um, so we are having a hard time getting that. They usually seem to be pretty wiped out whenever I put an order in uh, for, you know, just any kind of chicken or any kind of pork or beef or anything like that. Um, so unfortunately, I mean, we haven't really been eating as healthy as we normally do. Um, I've been getting some, uh, like bagged, like Tyson chicken patties and like grilled nuggets and stuff like that, just because, you know, that's, that's pretty much what they have right now. Um, 
so yeah, I'll be looking forward to hopefully being able to eat a little bit better in the next, you know, couple of months, hopefully. Um, yeah, but other than that, everything seems to be, uh, going okay. I mean, it's getting, it's getting a little bit better day by day and I have my good days and my bad days and my good moments and my bad moments. Um, you know, but what's awesome to me is, I, let me tell you something, animals are so perceptive. So Blue was very attached to Java and he knew something was going on and he was really mopey. Uh, the first couple of days he'd like go over to her room where she would hang out and then we had a spare bathroom where we kept like her litter box and her food and stuff. Um, and he was never allowed in there. We had a little baby gate with a little door that Java could walk in and out of where the dog couldn't get to it. Well, of course we took all that stuff down, um, and cleaned that room thoroughly. Um, but he would like walk over and go in there and just like sniff everything. And then he would just look at me like, where is she? You know, um, they're very, very intuitive. They know, they know something's happened. So he knows that she's not here, um, but man, he has been up my butt like white on rice. I'm telling you what, he follows me around everywhere. Like if I get up from this chair, he just right on my heels. So um, he's he's definitely he's been he's been a lifesaver for me. He knows like whenever I'm having a bad moment, he'll come over and like put his paw on my leg and look at me and be like, it's okay. And I'm just amazed at how, just how smart they are. It's just, it's awesome. And I'm, I'm very fortunate to have had uh, other animals here to help me, um, get through it. So, yeah. So yeah, I know I did a lot of jabbering about cats and some depressing things. So I apologize, but giving you guys an update. Um, I've had a lot of people ask how I'm doing. So I'm doing, I'm doing much better. Um, like I said, I've got my, my good and my bad moments, but it will always, always heal with time. So yeah. All right. I'm going to put these last three drills down and then I'm going to call it um, I am going to have a Patreon only video coming up. Um, I'm hoping, uh, by the end of May, which we're already at the end of May, isn't it? Like the, today's the 27th. Um, yeah, hopefully I can get that out for May. If not, it will be for June. Um, uh, but yeah, that's going to be a cool, cool video. So stay tuned for that. My lovely sugars, my lovely Patreon sugars. And thank you again to everybody who, who is a patron. I really, really appreciate it. It's um, very nice. Very nice. Okay. There we go. We got our cute Archer's Art. Uh, not Archer's Arts. I'm sorry. My 3D Designs um, kitty tray. So I'll have all that down listed down below. I'll go ahead and link the Mandy Manzano uh, diamond painting. But of course, as you know, it's out of stock. I don't know when it's going to come back in stock. But... Like I've said, you can always email, I mean, sign up um, to be notified when it does come in stock and Diamond Art Club will email you uh, when they get it in stock. So anyway, excuse me, that is my whip and chat for today. I think that's the first whip and chat I've done for a little bit. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, concerns, please put them in the comments below. Um, and yeah, please ring the bell and subscribe so you know when I put up random videos because sometimes I'll, I will put up a random video, uh, you know, do a drive and chat or find a, a crazy hack, something I figured out, you know, I'll just throw up a video. So anyway, hope everybody has a fantastic week and weekend and I will see you again really soon. Bye guys.